Testing.
It's, it's automatic reporting of position information. So it can be, it can be brought directly into the mission planning system? Yes, that's exactly the point. Interoperability again is what it described. So this provides a unified system for all NATO troops in, in Afghanistan. Certainly yeah. yeah, so effective, timely decision making. You know, it's 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 a important set of information, both at the high level, back in the command and control center, and also for the, the individuals that are. Uh, you know, out on the front lines. And the result is, and I think, it, I can tell you it's been very effective. We were pushed very hard to, to put this in place in a very quick manner, and it's been very successful and well received. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Can you just talk about the authentication a bit? Is it, it sounded like the user who's using this has to authenticate. Does the device also have to authenticate? No, no, no. How do you log into this? When you say attempt, you mean by uh, taking a vehicle and identifying that vehicle? Right, or one of the handheld devices. So that's with it. Every unit and every handheld will have an identifying object. Does. The device does. But a user who uses this thing, do they need to log in or is it just because they have access to the device that they get? They have access. Okay. You can give them restricted access, but generally for the people that are in the vehicle, they will have all their access to it. Okay. There is a set of passwords and authentication, but uh, it's really within the device itself.